yes, 32 fall up cycles that you can do right now to elevate your wardrobe, make it look more expensive, and just make it unique. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. A couple weeks ago, we talked about all of the fall 22 runway inspiration that we can get not only to style our clothes and make ourselves, you know, look put together, look more expensive, designer, everything like that, but also things that we saw on the runway that we could do to our clothes to upcycle them to also do the same thing. It ranged all the way from like really, really simple things, no so things, all the way up to like if you are into just the complete transformation things that you can do. So I thought I'd stop and take a moment to highlight all of the fall tutorials that I already have to give you a jump start on your fall up cycles as we work towards adding more to that number of up cycles. Every single tutorial, the full tutorial, will be listed in the description box below. I will not show you guys anything that does not have a full and slower tutorial for you. And it's quite a few. Today, I'm gonna share with you 32, yes, 32 fall up cycles that you can do right now to elevate your wardrobe, make it look more expensive, and just make it unique and make it stand out. All right, let's do it. The first thing, because we talked about this extensively in the runway inspiration video is sleeves. And I do have sleeves that you can already start working on, both the bishop sleeve, the puff sleeve, the balloon sleeve, those we've already taken care of. So I have a tutorial right here for you. I love to upcycle men's dress shirts. I took some men's dress shirts, even one I split in half and then added this triple balloon sleeve, which was my first time doing that. I love that top, as well as my French cuff bishop sleeve top. That, I have styled that top in so many videos. It's not even funny. Um, these white tops that I do, and that's just a tip for you guys, get those white men's dress shirts and upside go the crap out of them because those are going to become unique staples in your wardrobe just like me so um, I love this one as well as this mutton sleeve here I have worked this mutton sleeve on so many different things you can see it here on the black men's dress shirt but I've also done it on a trench coat I've also done it on a t-shirt both Adidas t-shirt with the sleeves were uh, from Adidas pants as well as just regular t-shirts so that leg of mutton sleeve is is just we saw it all over the runway still we've been seeing it for the last two seasons so I think it's going to continue to be a trend so definitely if you can learn how to do that sleeve you can do it on um, almost anything and add, if you like the puff on your sleeves you could do it to any of your garments and give it that edge that you're looking for all right so next up let's talk about skirts I know some of you guys really really love skirts you wear them all the time and I do have a few fall skirts for you first of all think about turning your jeans into a skirt I have several tutorials about how to turn your jeans into a skirt both if you want to have a mini skirt which those super minis are like hot right now um as well as if you want to do a longer version this one i did asymmetrical but i also show you in that tutorial how you could make that a long skirt as well as this crossover skirt the crossover even though the tutorial is from a couple years ago when it first came out they you're seeing them in all of the regular retail stores right now so if you just want to take an oversized pair of thrifted jeans and make yours yourself they are super easy to do um so definitely follow this tutorial and you can make that happen and then one of you guys favorites was when i took some old flannels and i turned it into a maxi skirt this skirt is a voluminous <laughs> Voluminous, however you want to say it and you guys absolutely loved it this was one of the requests that you guys sent me over and over and over again so of course I had to do it and this one is perfect for fall this did take six I believe men's flannels um, as big as you can get them but just be unique with it put yours together however you like I even kept the sleeves on it so that I could tie it in front of me at you know whenever I want to so yeah just this is one that you just put it together you be creative don't try to be like anybody else don't be try to be exactly like mine just go ahead and do it have fun with it and just let it be whatever it is at the end and it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous with that volume and then last up one of my favorite projects is when I turn this trench coat into a skirt with the frills 
frills. You can keep the frills. You cannot put the frills on if you like. I love the frills. You guys know how I love the frills, but this walks well. It has that presence, you know, and it was just one trench coat. Yes, save those old trench coats from the thrift store and turn them into something amazing. All right, so the next section, we're gonna talk about blazers and jackets. These are staples for fall, and you can certainly make some very unique blazers and jackets or turn your blazers and jackets into other unique pieces for fall. The first thing is really, really simple. No sewing required is just take a jacket. If you are not satisfied with how it fits, the length of it, decide where you want it and just cut it off. Like this is a denim jacket that I thrifted at a vintage store um, and I just didn't like the length of it and I just cut it off. The great thing about denim is that you don't have to finish the edge. Just let it fray and if you want to advance that fray, throw it in the washing machine and the dryer, take it out and it'll add be absolutely perfect so yeah think about doing that you can also crop a blazer i have a no sew tutorial for you to be able to crop a blazer and make it look professional make it look like you know you had it done somewhere or you bought it yes it's the power of hem tape you just need an iron and some hem tape and you can make that happen i did it with this particular jacket this is one of those things that you're gonna see everywhere. You may not necessarily like crop jackets, and but the thing about it is if you do like crop jackets, the more than likely the way they crop them is not going to hit everyone exactly where they wanna hit it. We all have different length torsos. I have a short torso. Some people might have a long torso or a regular torso, or you just want that crop look, but you don't really want you know it above a certain level if you know what i mean um i have that issue a lot so do it yourself and here you can do it in a no so way so yeah take advantage and then to go with that i also made a belt with what was left over this is a sewing project but i took a thrifted belt and added it to the bottom of this blazer we talked about it last week this is one of my favorite projects i have styled this one to death as well um it just goes with so much and especially in the fall um, when you just want something, you know, you just want to add some character to a piece that may have been just plain to start off with. This is definitely one of those talking pieces. And especially for people like me who don't have a whole lot of curves, this does it for me. So yes, I love this. And then I also cropped another blazer right here. I did sew this one and they're really simple to sew, especially if you have a serger. You, you can double turn them, but it's a little bit thick on the end. So if you have a serger, you can just go ahead and serge it and turn it up once. But I I did decide to add a little extra using my Cricut on the side of the blazer, so I really like that. And then I decided to take the bottom pieces of this and make a score. This is definitely one of my favorite standout pieces. And it wasn't even that hard. I thought it was gonna be more difficult, but it actually wasn't even that hard. So yeah, check out that tutorial. Now, for my girls with the hips. Yes, you know who you are. I made this tutorial specifically for you guys because a lot of you guys, when you buy men's blazers, they don't fit you in the hips. So with that same idea of adding the frills and the pleating and everything like that, that is big right now, I decided decided to take a pleated skirt and take some of the pleats and allow it to let out the sides of that blazer so that if you do have hips and you find you can't buy or thrift, especially men's blazers, this is an edit for you. I love how this turned out. And then I actually, because I cut the bottom of the skirt out, I just kept the skirt and layered it underneath. So now they look like coordinating pieces. This is one of my favorite sets. Even for me who doesn't have any hips, it works. But especially for my hippie people, I think this is a great solution for you guys. And and then last up, I have it on right now, if you are interested in giving your blazers this hoodie look. Now this is actually a romper. Yes, y'all know I gotta be extra and I there's no pieces left behind, so I used what was left over from the hoodie to make this into a romper. But you don't have to go to that extreme if you don't want to. You can just take your favorite blazer and add a hood to it and give it this effect and also add the cuffs to the end. So it makes it look like you have a hoodie layered underneath a blazer but as you can see I do not I don't have any of the weight or the heat going on underneath this and it is still 90 degrees here in Houston Texas so um yeah this I would not be able to wear a hoodie and a blazer right now definitely not but right now I am cool calm and collected and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for definitely you have seen all of the amazing things going on in this channel hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing and I have a learn to sew series going on right now so if you don't want to miss that definitely hit the subscribe button 
button. And you can also join my members only group. If you're interested in joining me in a small group setting to further your upcycles, as well as I offer one-on-one. -on -one. So definitely hit that join button to learn more about that. And that join button is right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss it. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so next up, let's talk about one of you guys' favorite topics and it is jeans. All right, so first up, I have two ways that you can add a little bit of excitement to your jeans. One is a no-sew way and one is a sewing way. So first up, I don't know if you guys have seen these super expensive jeans going around, but I say just go to the thrift store, find you some, especially I love the brand Gloria Vandervelle in vintage jeans because they fit just like these jeans that are going around for a lot of money. Um, and just take two slits across the thighs just to give them some interest. I actually have a ton of jean upcycles, but I just wanted to highlight these because these are popular right now. I've been seeing all of the fashion girlies wearing them and they're so simple to do. Throw them in the washing machine and dryer to let them fray and you are done. So I love this tutorial. And another one of you guys' favorites is when I wanted to extend or lengthen these jeans and add the little crisscross cutouts on the leg. I just took another pair of jeans and cut some strips and then I folded them over and made the little loops. Cut the jeans, of course, as if I was cutting shorts and then connected the two with these little loops. This one is a sewing, sewing project. So if you know how to sew, you already got this. But I do have a full tutorial. So if you are brave, go ahead and tackle these because they are absolutely and then you can take your regular straight leg and skinny leg jeans as long as they're like a more stiff material not like super elastic but you can turn them into wide leg jeans and it's pretty simple all you have to do is take a triangle and add it to the side like we talked about last week if those jeans are too small you can also add a strip down the side and then flare out at the bottom to turn them into wide leg or flares I do have a tutorial in addition to this where where you can turn your skinny leg jeans into flares. Both of those tutorials are very similar, but you know, when wide leg jeans came back in, I did not want to see all of these skinny jeans in the thrift store. Cause like I never was big into the skinny jeans and I'm so glad that they are not the only jeans in town anymore. So yeah, turn those skinny jeans into wide legs or flares, whichever you prefer and get so many more wears out of them. You can also make those amazing super cuff jeans no matter your height or the length of your legs because I'm not a tall person, but my legs are long. And so I could never find jeans long enough to cuff, to give me that super cuff look. And I love that you can just take another pair of jeans, cut off the bottom, add it to the bottom of those jeans, cuff it, and you look like you have a pair of super cuff jeans. You can also add embroidery to your jeans. This is one that I am absolutely loving I did this a while back I get so many compliments on these jeans and the thing about it is if you do it yourself you can put whatever you want on your jeans I've seen a couple of people come out they're making these to sell you can definitely purchase them but if you are interested in a simple and I mean simple embroidery project give it a go like it is simple I've never embroidered before doing this tutorial looked it up how to do it picked it up did a tutorial so I know that you guys can do it too and here's something else that I have been seeing absolutely everywhere and it is these crossover pants and crossover jeans and if you have a pair of pants or jeans that are too big it is super simple to cross them over and to make them fit it is actually a really easy way to make a pair of too big pants fit so definitely give it a try and lastly you can mix and match your bottoms think about this from every perspective. Just use your imagination and come up with some Frankenstein ideas. That's become one of the things somebody told me that they call like when they do different things and they just put things together, they call it Frankenstein and I love that. And so think about like this Frankenstein way of putting your clothes together. Here is one of my most complimented pairs of pants. It is joggers at the top and a pair of dress pants at the bottom. I added a stripe of ribbon 
down the side to make them look cohesive. And I get so many compliments every time I wear these, every time I wear them in a video, you guys love them. And it really was a simple project to do. And then here also taking two pair of jeans. I had these jeans didn't particularly fit, but I took them, added them together in a different way other than just side by side. Although you can do side by side. I do have a tutorial for that. Um, you can add your jeans side by side, one pair from one pair, one from pair from another different colors, make that look like one pair of jeans. It's a really cool way to upgrade your jeans, but then you can also take them where you just take the inside of the jeans and the outside of another pair of jeans and this is really cool because it allows you to take two pairs of jeans that didn't fit and put them together and now you have a pair of jeans that fits so there you go and next up let's talk about sweaters and hoodies because it is hoodie season and i'm so excited about it in that same tutorial where i am mixing and matching frankensteining i also did a tutorial where i took two sweaters like ribbed mock neck sweaters and cut it off like this and add them together. So don't think of it just in your pants. Think of it as in everything. I went to Target the other day to shop the Kalana Barfield Brown collection and they have a sweater vest that is one sweater vest connected to another sweater vest. So like I said, you're gonna see these things more and more even though we've been talking about them for a couple years. So if you haven't gotten a chance to do them, it is the trend is not over. I mean, it's not going to be over, but doing it now, you're right on time. So with that being said, let's upgrade a turtleneck. I had a turtleneck that was slightly too big for me. I didn't like the fit of it. And so I was like, oh, I am loving the exposed seams that I'm seeing. So let me do a creative thing and taking this in and just use exposed seams rather than just taking it on the sides, which I could have done, um, done it a million times. But let me just use the exposed seams on my serger. Now you can do this with your regular sewing machine with your overcast stitch or with your zigzag stitch. But I just just love the contrasting colors that you can use I'm excited to try to do this to more things this fall and winter because I, I wear that to death so yeah and then here's a no so I've been seeing this more and more the super crop sweater um, just take a sweater make sure it's finely knit and crop it just super crop it up here you can take the bottom of it and make something else with it a tube top turn it upside down which is what i should have done just take it turn it upside down so that the finished edge is up at the top and turn under the bottom and make a top to go with it too maybe i'll do that in the future but this super crop is not something that you can't do with just a pair of scissors at your house and then here's also another no so because the prep aesthetic is in and even is getting more grungy, which I absolutely love. You can add like this whole prep aesthetic to just a plain sweater, just make your own patches. And the patch could be anything, it can say anything. In this tutorial, I teach you how to do it with no special tools. And I did this for years before I got my Cricut, but now I do have the Cricut. And so it takes like a couple seconds to just design something and cut it out. Iron them together with some heat and bond and put it on the sweater so I love the prep aesthetic so this is definitely something that I have done and will be doing more in the future then also no sewing skills required you can also take your garments and dye them if you thrift something or you have something in your wardrobe especially if it's cream or white already now you can use the remover to take color out as well as just something that's already white or cream go ahead and just follow the instructions i especially like the ritz dye more it works so well on this purple oh i love this skirt now love the top now and now they did not come together i thrifted them separately but now they're a matching set and another no so you can add piping to a sweater this could have been done hand sewn as well as with fabric glue i really like the okay to wash it fabric glue because it says it's okay to wash it i would still wash this on gentle um, but a lot of sweaters are dry clean only anyway and so especially if you have one of those dry clean only ones you're not gonna wash it anyway go ahead add that fabric glue do any we talked about this on the runway you can add ribbon you can add uh piping like i did whatever you want to add in whatever contrast and color in whatever pattern you want um, just please go ahead and do the front and the back. That is the key to making it look designer and expensive. If you only do the front, it's going to look cheap because
because if you notice when you go to like cheap stores designs uh all the sequence is only on the front that's a way they get away with you know charging less price i mean because they have to but do it on the front and the back and it's definitely going to elevate it and no so and you're done and here's one i have not talked about in a while but when i did it you guys loved it think about adding a flannel to a hoodie to make it a dress and then the more warped it is this is an inspiration i got from the brand Mosse. decided to recreate it didn't know exactly how it was going to turn out but this can be worn as a top or a dress and i did it so that it still buttons on the side so that's why i love when i do things for myself sometimes they're happy accidents which i appreciate sometimes it's on purpose but still i decide i decide what and how i want things how long i want things you know and that's what just really really makes me happy about this because it's all about me when i go to retail when i shop in, in the stores you know i'm wearing what everybody else is wearing and trying to figure it out you know like everybody else is trying to figure out but when i do it myself i make it for myself and it fits me my style my body you know and last up in the hoodies and sweaters did you guys know i have a whole hoodie series yes i have a whole hoodie series i took a three hoodies and actually like one kind of sweater and did a fun little thing kind of like a choose your own adventure type thing the first one i want to share is this cold shoulder one this is just two hoodies mixed together and just used coordinating colors messages however you want to do it super easy like i said i love doing things for myself because i can do what i want and i didn't like how open it was so i was able to add some pieces on the side so now i feel really comfortable wearing this and then next up i decided to blend a hoodie with a sweater something else that i saw i think on the nike website and i wanted to do it and i did this in two different versions a navy blue one and a gray one these are really cool and then third up was the yellow one this one wasn't a hoodie but more of a sweater style but i had seen these really fitted pieces um kind of layering over one another this is what i created i love it because also the yellow piece can be they can be worn separately and i really like that yellow piece paired over just like a button up so so cute so yeah try that and then last up this is a no so if you like doing grommets if you like like laces and stuff like that try just cutting two hoodies down the middle mixing them with some grommets and some shoelaces yes this piece is very unique and i'm sure you're going to be seeing these pieces in places like akira um definitely stores like that they carry stuff like that but you can make it yourself virtually for free all right so last up is my favorite thing for fall and it is layering pieces these pieces didn't necessarily go into another topic so i decided to put them all together because they all are layering pieces and i love this topic because these layering pieces can not only be worn in the fall and winter but also as you get to spring and even summer if you finagle them right so let's talk about recently we did some denim belts i am definitely seeing these more and more in different stores like i showed you you can do one completely no so and then i did one my favorite one where i made it kind of like a garter i am seeing this silhouette more and more as well um, made it like a garter and this one which you are not seeing this this you can convert into a top so we flip it around and do the straps and it converts into a denim top i'm so proud of that upcycle and next up think about turning your jeans into some type of bra top these bra tops can not only be worn in the summertime but you can layer them over other tops to give those tops interest layer them underneath suits different things like that now no matter what the season is no matter what the temperature is it's something that you can wear and that just gives you all the more wear out of it so that means for the work that you did we always think cost per wear but here we think you know effort per wear or at least I do so the effort per wear is very minimal because I can wear this all year round and next up we all know that harnesses are everywhere i'm not gonna lie and say i don't love them because i love them i decided to turn the sleeve of a leather jacket into a harness and this is how it turned out it wasn't a whole lot of effort as a matter of fact a ton of you guys have tried this you guys send it to me and it makes me so excited you guys send it to me on instagram i love seeing them you guys are 
rocking this. I've seen you guys do it out of a bunch of different materials, not just leather. So that really makes me excited. And then last up, I should have put this one in the hoodies, but it is a layering piece. But think about turning your hoodies into layering pieces because I love hoodies so much that not being able to wear them in other seasons, you know, kind of bothers me. And so this is a great way to be able to wear your hoodies in all seasons, not only just the fall and winter, but also in the spring and summer. Cut off the sleeves of it, add some grommets and ties on the side. Um, even if you look at the hoodie that I did where I split it, somebody was like, oh, I don't know how to sew. You don't have to know how to sew to do this one. Just add the grommets and tie it, you know, tie it with some shoelaces. And you, it could be a no-sew, but especially with this French cuff top that I talked about at the beginning underneath is yeah yeah it it becomes more than a hoodie at this point you know if you can't tell I just really like fashion I just really like clothes I like what it can do like when you talk about transforming something as basic as a hoodie into something more than that and I mean like so much more than that we're talking about just just jeans and we're transforming into something so much more than that just the old leather jacket sleeve and now it's something so much more than that <sighs> yes it just it's just exciting. It's really, really exciting. I know some of you guys are just as excited as me and I love to see you guys' comments. Let me know below which one of these is your favorite, which ones do you plan on doing this fall and winter season, and also what you want to see me do in the future. And I definitely, I check all the comments. So thank you guys so much. Those of you who comment on a regular basis, I appreciate you guys. Um, and yes, I look forward to what we have coming up. Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing and i also have you know a ton of videos for you to watch check the description box everything full tutorials link and a whole ton more right here so i will see you guys in the next one all right bye